If you voted for Trump and the liberal media had you second-guessing your decision, this should put your mind at ease. Though not a true conservative, Trump has done something no Republican has ever been able to achieve. He has literally crushed the souls of liberals. He has devastated the left in a way that may cause them to go extinct and for that we owe him deep gratitude. Out-of-work child molester Lena Dunham is considering suing President Trump for emotional distress. The resistance has been cautiously optimistic that a variety of impossible things would eventually remove Trump from office, but even their fantasy world is crashing back into reality. With no hope of impeachment or a coup they are now scraping the bottom of the barrel for ideas to attack the freely elected President of the United States. This is what Lena Dunham came up with what if 30 million women or so filed a class action suit against the President for emotional distress. Just spitballing here, wrote Dunham. To answer her question, nothing would happen if 30 million women sued Trump for emotional distress, because they would have no standing to file such a suit. Emotional distress is something that involves an inmate relationship and is usually associated with divorce cases. 30 million crazy liberal women do not have this type of relationship with the president, they just don't like him. You cannot sue people who you don't know personally just because you hate them. If that were the case people like Lena Dunham would get sued all the time. She should be thankful that the law doesn't allow for this kind of frivolous lawsuit, as she benefits from it greatly. And let's face it, plenty of people have a pretty good case against her. Anyone who has seen photos that she posts regularly of her in her underwear or sitting naked on a toilet eating a cake can claim emotional distress and slash or severe trauma. I can't even include these pictures with this article because I will get flagged, which should tell you something. The fact that Dunham is claiming emotional distress from Trump's presidency is actually very funny. Trump broke her. He won. He has utterly destroyed her and many more on the left. Rosie O'Donnell is suicidal, liberal comedy writers say they are exhausted, and most of the left know can no longer find meaning in life. Another interesting aspect about this is, Dunham is mentally damaged by Trump when she works, used to work, in the entertainment industry. This is a business where every single day a new scumbag is outed for raping and harassing people. Dunham herself has admitted to molesting her younger sister. Somehow all of this sleaze is fine, but she can't cope with the fact that America picked Trump and not Hillary Clinton. Dunham thinks she's being edgy and resilient in proposing a class action lawsuit against Trump, but what she's really doing is telling the rest of America to re-elect him. This liberal resistance temper tantrum is not swaying anyone's opinion in favor of the left, it is simply reaffirming why the country has rejected whiny Hollywood douchebags and their worthless views.